Where I come from, pork chops are like pizza. You eat it with your hand. Oh, that is delicious. Hey, Super Foodie Dave. He didn't know his name, dog. <laughs> Bro didn't know his own name. I'm a trucker, hear me? And today, we're gonna do something easy because I'm starving to death. And what I have here are some pork chops. When it comes to pork chops, my favorite are the thin ones. Look how thin that is. Ooh, baby. Look how thin. The thin ones are the best, in my opinion. I don't like the real thick pork chops. They're okay, but the thin ones are my favorite. And check these bad rascals out. Hear me? Ew, look at that. And the thinner, the better. They cook fast. They're delicious. I don't know, dude. These are a little scary. Mm, they got some gray spots on them. The sell date was the first. When it comes to raw meat, it's always better to err on the side of caution. All right, let's find out anyway. Okay, so I like the thin ones. The thick ones are, they're okay. You know, in, in these days you can cook pork medium and that's what I you know, normally do. If I get a pork chop, a thick pork chop in a restaurant, I always order medium. But these thin ones, you don't have to worry about it because they cook real fast and they're going to cook all the way through. So my favorite thing is, same as a steak. McCormick's Montreal seasoning. This stuff's fantastic on pork chops. And remember, it's salty, so I mean, I'm gonna put a lot on because, and these are thin too. You know, the seasoning goes a long ways. Ew, don't forget that piece. Okay, flip. Try to get the seasoning all over the place. And like I said, I always use this McCormick Montreal steak seasoning. I always use it on my steaks, but also on a pork chop. It's fantastic. Every time I go back home to Costa Rica, I always bring one of these big, big, big ones. Okay, then Trader Joe's onion salt. It's a must. Got to go on there. There we go. You got to do it from high. Remember. Oh, that is beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. This Trader Joe's onion salt. It just, it, it's pretty. Pretty. I'm so pretty and he like that. Hear me? Looky, looky. Uh oh, this one here, we got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Ah! Houston, I lost ah! visual. I didn't put any Montreal on that one. Okay, now, salt, pepper. For some reason, this pepper don't want to cooperate and it makes me very angry. Very angry, hear me? Okay, so now, take your pork chops out of the refrigerator, season them, let them sit, let them get to room temperature before you cook them. And they're gonna come out better, more better, hear me? You're gonna love it, hear me? Okay, so here's the deal with these pork chops. You don't need any EVOO. Sorry, Rachel, but because they're greasy enough. There's so much grease in the, in, in the pork chop, no oil, just straight in the pan. I hear it. And you want that you want that pan hot, screaming hot. It could be hotter. See if we can't get two of these bad rascals in there. Oh yeah, baby. Immediately, as soon as, soon as that pork chop hits the pan, you can smell that pork cooking. You smell that pig and that Montreal seasoning on there. Mmm. Love is in the air. I'm flying. Hear me? Hear me? I'm gonna invent some candles, some food smelling candles, some onion candles, some pork candles. Hear me? All right, so what you want to do, don't lick your fingers after you've been touching that raw pork. Don't do that. No, 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 no. You get worms in your brain. So I'm going to say three minutes aside with a screaming hot pan. Like I said, in a truck with this apparatus here, you know, it's it just doesn't get as hot as I want it to get. It's as fast as I want to get it. At home, it's hot, quick. In your truck, you got to be a little patient. Son of a... What the... Holy mother of God. I just fell down. Jesus Christ. Son of a... We just had an earthquake. All right, bear with me. The truck's rattling, so I guess I rattled that light loose. Hear me? Disaster. My God. Okay, so we get the pork chops. Ew, look at there, baby. See, that's what you want. You want it to look like that. When it looks like that, that's when you flip it. And look how that seasoning just sears into that meat. That's because that pan's so hot. That's why you want a hot pan. And like I said, these ain't gonna take long. Three minutes aside, four max. And what I like to do, I like to get that fat on the side like that too, so it's all crispy. Ain't nothing better than a little crispy pork fat. You cheat your own, if you will. All right? These are smelling great. I love me some pig. All right, so this is gonna take a few minutes. Let me cook these pork chops and we'll come right back and uh, put our chow on, you hear me? Okay, it's been about four minutes and these things are done. Look at here, I got them stacked up like pancakes. Ew, baby, baby. 
Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay, so the only thing I have for my side dish is, and you're gonna think I'm a hillbilly. You're probably right, remember me? Because I am. Ranch style beans with jalapenos. Now, I used to do steak night years ago at this bar, and uh, I'd sell 100 steaks a night. No lie, on Monday Night Football, I'd sell 100 steaks a night. And what I served with these with my steaks was, you guessed it, ranch style beans. Oh my God, you're kidding me. You know what, maybe not. How does this not work? Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's right. So, so what I do is I serve these steaks, you know, with with a with a piece of corn, a cob, and ranch style beans, and everybody loves the ranch style beans because here, Ooh, baby, man, that smells good. I don't know how long it's been since you had ranch style beans, but I'm gonna tell you right now, they are delicious. Now, I always make my beans myself from a dry bean, but in a pinch, ranch style beans. Delicious. Hear me? Ooh, look at here. And look at these chunks of jalapeno in there. Ooh. Mmm, boy, that smells good. I don't know if you like the ranch style beans. If you don't, maybe it's been a long time. Maybe you should try them again. So, here we go. Now, the thing about the ranch style beans, this is what makes it. Hang on. All right, this is what makes the ranch style beans right here. Because I put down, I put the pico de gallo on top of it. And it changes everything. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. I got onions in here. I got cilantro in here. Fresh jalapeno in here. The only thing I'm missing is a tomato, which I couldn't find any. Are you kidding me? Not that I couldn't find any, but I don't have one. I'm not angry about it. Because the onions and cilantro and the, jalapeno, the fresh jalapeno with the squeeze of lime on it. And I squeeze a lot of lime on there, so it's got some tang to it. It's going to be beautiful. So, let's get some of these beans. Everything's done. Let's turn it off. You know what? Let's just eat it inside there. That's even better. Okay, let's go in. One. Pork chop. And like I said, it may be the hillbilly in me. Where I come from, pork chops are like pizza. You eat it with your hand. Oh, that is delicious. Mmm, mmm. The pork chops cook perfectly. Look at that fat. Mmm, a little pork fat for you. It's cooked perfectly. That Montreal seasoning is salty. Like I said, you gotta be careful with that stuff because it is salty, but perfect for me. Tasty. Like I said, it's salty. You definitely need a monster to wash it down. Ugh, a cold monster. Woo! Oh, my God, that is outstanding. Okay, so these beans are hot, hot, hot. And I'm telling you, try this when you get home. You get some ranch style beans, make you some pico de gallo, sprinkle it on there. And I like a lot of onion, so I just put a bunch of them on this limey. I'll squeeze two limes on here. That's right, two. I said it, two. Two! Right. Hear me? All right, let's go in. Ooh, that is hot, hot, hot. Oh, look at it, it's boiling. Oh, oh. That's the way you, know, you gotta eat it. You gotta eat while it's hot. And the the, the rich the riches of that ranch style bean, but the freshness of that onion and that cilantro and that jalapeno and that zing of that lime. That's right, the zing of the lime. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's like lava. Woo! That's how you like it. Hear me? Wow, that's good. And I and I know you are thinking like, look, this guy's getting excited over ranch style beans, but hey. Give it a try with pico de gallo. Oh, woo, that's good. Delicious. So, go get you some pork chops. Get the thin ones. Cook them fast. Put some Montreal seasoning on there. Get you some Trader Joe's onion salt. And eat them with your hand. Food tastes better when you eat it with your hand. Hear me? Let's go in. One more. Watch this. Oh, don't try this at home. Do a little swirly swirl. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, so good. I love pork chops. I crave these thin pork chops all the time. In Costa Rica, they make them even, even thinner than this. And every time I see them, I buy them. Reminds me of home, hear me? So, please, like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment below. You know I love your comments. So, there you have it. Peace. Who loves you? And as always, ciao.